Hey, I'm Paul Husingo. Welcome to the SEMA Show. I'm hanging out here at Dynacom with Joel, and Joel's taking me through the newest version of their quantum software. Now, dynos all work in the same way. They gather data in the same way, but how that data is presented is really what makes a difference, right? Absolutely, and the test methods used, and the test methods available to you. Uh, here we're bringing our VRS software, uh, our virtual road simulation. We have three different test methods, so we can use the EPA's two methods of testing, which is a power at 50 test, and one that adds other coefficients, their most current testing, or we just use the actual formulas of physics, which makes for a much longer pull, it makes for a longer test, but it's the most real-world accurate model available. And aside from that, we've got some other great features in our quantum software. We have our uh, our drag racing, or we can drag race from dyno to dyno. Uh, you can actually play that back live. You can play every dyno run back live, so you can look at them. You can log CAN bus from ECUs, from popular ECUs into our, into our dyno, and you can display them in your dyno graph. You can display CSV files into the dyno graph. So when you say that you can bring in information directly from these popular ECUs, that's pretty much a plug and play proposition, right? There's not a lot of setup involved in getting that data into your file? Absolutely, you just bring it over a Kvazer cable and it logs right into the dyno. Now you mentioned the EPA testing cycle. This is becoming more and more important for, you know, basically anybody who's doing any sort of tuning on a dyno. Right, and well, coming up for the next show, when we come to PRI, we're going to bring another EPA test. We're gonna be bringing emissions testing because that's gonna be very important for people that are tuning cars in the future to be able to provide information that they're not harming the emissions of the vehicle, that the drive cycle of the vehicle is still just as clean as it was before. So that's something in the future, but it's it's already in the software. We'll be working on the hardware to bring it bring it in. So. Well, that's very cool. Now, I'm gonna ask you kind of an off-the-wall question. What's your favorite feature of this software? My personal favorite is the ability to hold load at the beginning of any of our tests. So we have multiple, multiple different runs you can do, multiple different tests you can do. But you can actually hold the load of the dyno, hold the constant speed of the car, and flat foot the car, because I do a lot of big turbo imports. So when you're doing that, you need to load the turbo before the run. Just your worst case scenario, driving up a hill, my turbo spooling as hard as it can, as early as it can. And that helps gather a lot of important data for you know the low, the high load, low RPM regions when you're tuning. And that's also important for drag racing too, to get that, uh, to get that initial hit dialed in. Oh, absolutely, yeah. All right, now where can people go to find out more information about Dynocom and Quantum? You can look us up at www.dynocom.net, or you can look us up on Facebook. And speaking of Facebook, our dynos actually blast to Facebook. You can publish to Facebook whenever you're doing runs. So. Well, that's a pretty cool feature. You know, a little bit of bragging, a little bit of bragging rights there going on. For Power Auto Media, I'm Paul Husinga. Keep it right here. There's a whole bunch of stuff from SEMA that you're going to want to watch.